Georgia. They got several elite official visitors in Athens this weekend and a couple flip targets. Let's start with those flip targets, Steve. USC commitments visiting Georgia this weekend. We got two five stars in defensive linemen, Justice Terry and Edge Isaiah Gibson. Now, no surprise that they're back on campus in Athens. Uh, we talked to Isaiah Gibson over the weekend. Let's start with Justice Terry, though. He they both committed to USC on the same visit weekend out in LA earlier in the spring. Uh, Justice Terry back in Athens. What does it mean to you? And that Justice Terry commitment was a flip because he was True. committed to Georgia. Ah. I think Georgia's got a really good chance to flip both these guys back. Wow. Uh, Isaiah Gibson, he's got Tennessee in the mix. Justice Terry talking to a few other programs as well. I just think uh, when they committed to USC, that only turned things up for Kirby Smart <laughs> and Georgia. They're getting them back this weekend. They were in instant communication with those guys even you know from the moment they committed to USC I don't think anything has changed uh, from the amount of dialogue that they've had with Georgia now they're back this weekend and I think you know we've seen this story before you know Michael Williams was at one point committed to Georgia or excuse, USC Christian Miller was at one point committed to USC they're guy they're on Georgia's team right now and so it's hard to <laughs> pull these blue chippers from uh, Georgia's neck of the woods out west, and USC is going to have their hands full keeping Justice Terry and Isaiah Gibson in the fold moving forward. Yep, we'll talk more about these two after the weekend. Uh, but there are even more big names on campus. Five-star linebacker Zayden Walker, the number one linebacker in America. He's back in Athens this weekend. It seems like he's there every weekend or every other weekend. Is there any chance that they could close on Walker this week? Well, they're also bringing him in for camp right. this week, so he's going to get on campus and be able to work out with Glenn Schumann and company and get a feel for what it would be like to get coached by those guys. So, look, uh, talking to my colleague Chad Simmons, you know, we think Georgia is in excellent position there. You know, South Carolina is trying to make that recruitment interesting. Miami's another program that's been in the mix for Z Zayden mm -hmm. Walker. But – Georgia, he understands what that opportunity is for him and his development, and we like where Georgia stands coming into the official visit this weekend. All right, and we know that wide receiver Travis Smith is at the top of that wide receiver board at UGA. Uh, who's the biggest competition for him, and do you do you like Georgia here? Yeah, him and C.J. Wiley are the two coveted in-state pass catchers mm -hmm. that Georgia would love to sign this week. My on-three RPM is on Georgia for Travis Smith. Auburn, Tennessee are a couple of the others that he's got a keen eye on. But Georgia's setting the pace here. His mom also extremely high on Georgia. Things have clicked fast with James Coley, and, and uh, Georgia's in fantastic shape for Travis Smith going into the weekend. Yeah, James Coley has a couple really nice options on that wide receiver board right now. Let's move on to offensive tackle Nick Brooks. He goes 6'7", 300-plus. Uh, Nick Brooks seems like one of those typical linemen that UGA ends up signing, just massive. Well, he's been on campus a bunch, so it's obvious that uh, his uh, he he's excited about his opportunity from Georgia. Coach Searles, Coach Kirby Smart, uh, the pedigree at the point of attack. Georgia is definitely one of the front runners for Nick Brooks coming mm -hmm. into this weekend's official visit. And I think Georgia wants to close some of these guys this weekend. I wouldn't be surprised if Georgia uh, sped up the timeline of one or two of these visitors this weekend and got them in the fold. I think that's something that they're going to push for with this massive group of prospects on campus. All right, Georgia fans, let us know. Who do you think the dogs could close on this weekend? Let us know. Comment section below.